Celebrations have been held in the West Highlands to mark the granting of legal protection to a fragile section of coastline. The decimation of a huge flame shell reef by a scallop dredger prompted outrage two years ago. This weekend, the area will become a permanent marine protected area. Well, Nicola McCallie is there for us tonight and it really is looking beautiful there, Nicola. It certainly is, Andrea, and great celebrations today. Cast your mind back two years ago, there was a lot of anger when pictures emerged of the damage to this flame shell reef that had been caused by a scallop dredger. Now, the dredger had actually done nothing illegal because that area was not protected at that point. Well, it will be now, as of this weekend. Campaigners are celebrating because they say that is a win not just for the flame shell species, but for lots of other types of species too. Divers exploring the seabed at Loch Caron in Wester Ross to mark the loch being designated a permanent marine protected area. For decades now we have been taking for granted what is under the water um, and this is an event which is uh, beginning to take back and bring life back into the inshore waters. If we look after the seabed the fish will come back and communities will, will benefit from that. The loch is home to the world's largest population of flame shells. Two years ago, the reef was devastated by a scallop dredger, prompting calls for government action. I think the fact that this became an MP and that the government response was so quick shows that the government are listening. And we are very, you know, that connection between the government and the people in the West Highlands is really precious. They're certainly listening, certainly responding, um, and I would expect that to continue. Fishermen say the move will bring huge benefits to the industry. I think the inshore creel fishermen very much support the creation of the MPA network. We appreciate that we need to protect a lot of areas. When the three-mile limit was removed in the 80s, a lot of areas were opened up for trawling and dredging for the first time. And uh, we've probably lost quite a lot of what would have been, till that point, quite pristine habitats. And I think there's definitely a recognition in the inshore creel fishing sector that there's plenty of areas need protecting. Young environmentalists also took part in the celebrations. If nobody protects it, then anyone can come and destroy it like they did a few years ago, and that would be devastating even to happen twice. It's hoped marine protected area status will be replicated across other fragile parts of Scotland's coastline. Nicola McCallie, STV News. Nicola, what will this mean for scallop dredgers in the area now? Well, effectively it means that they just can't fish in Loch Caron any longer. However, campaigners say that there are still rich pickings for the likes of scallops, maybe about six miles further out to sea. And those who've been fighting so hard for this special status today say that really it will benefit other uh, industries, sections of the industry in the long run because these reefs act as a nursery for lots of species of fish which will grow up and then head out to sea and then they can be harvested commercially. All right, Nicola, thank you very much for joining us this evening.